Silver Assassin here, and it's time to look at the coin releases from this month. As usual, we start off with annual related coins. We start off with two releases from the Pop Joy Mint in their Big Cat series. We first have the Cheetah. The Cheetah is the fastest land animal. It can reach 60 miles per hour in only 3 seconds. However, it's the only big cat that cannot roar. The Panther on the other hand has no trouble roaring. The Panther comes from a very large family that includes the Jaguar, Leopard, Black Panther, White Panther and Cougar. The Perth Mint has a long relationship with Hong Kong based dealer LPM. They've released another horse related series, this time the Bromby, a feral horse that roams freely around much of Australia, primarily found in Northern Territories. The coin, being a bullion coin, has a relatively high mintage, so you should be able to catch one of these while you might struggle with the actual real life horse. The New Zealand Mint features a lot in these videos, and they will today. However, this is not the New Zealand Mint that we're looking at, this is the New Zealand Post. The New Zealand Post is a government entity and they have released this Chatham Island Crested Penguin coin. You'll also notice on the obverse it doesn't say Nui like most of New Zealand Mint's coins. You'll notice this coin has actually been issued on behalf of New Zealand. Next, some culture related coins. Talking about the New Zealand Mint, here they are on schedule. And no surprise, it's another Star Wars related coin. And while the Death Star has featured in the past in the 2 ounce ultra high relief format, this is a 1 ounce proof version of this coin, so it will be a little bit more affordable than the 2 ounce version. We next have the fourth release in the Guards of the Empire series, this time the Praetorian Guards. While I've been a fan of the first three releases, the fourth release in my opinion is the weakest. Maybe it's because that Praetorian Guard is just way too red for my liking. Italian based Power Coins has released its fourth coin in their Great Micro Mosaic Passion series. The fourth release being A Lady with an Airmine by Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci is known to have painted four women in his life, including the famous Mona Lisa. Next, some history related coins. Dutch based Numis Collect has released the fourth coin in the Archaeology and Symbolism series. This is the Dendera Zodiac. The Dendera Zodiac is found at the Hafor Temple in Dendera, Egypt, and contains images of Taurus de Bull and Libra. The Mint of Poland has released a El Dorado coin. El Dorado translates to the Golden One. What started off as a tribal initiation rite, where their tribal chief covered himself with gold and submerged himself in the lake, later went from being a man to a city, to a kingdom, then finally an empire. Today, when people think El Dorado, they obviously think of some sort of golden treasure. Luckily, the Mint of Poland did their homework and they went back to the original source. Finally, some mythology related coins. The Perth Mint again, and another collaboration with Hong Kong based LPM. This time they've released a Chinese Guardian Lions coin, the Double Pixie Yu. These creatures feature the head of a dragon and the body of a lion. The male creature on the left is holding the world in his grasp and the one on the right is holding a little cob in his grasp. Korean based Comsco is back with its fifth release in the Chiwu Chin Wang series. Chiwu is a god of war and you can see him on this coin with his famous shield, sword, cloak, helmet. He appears to be guarding the gates of hell. The obverse of the coin, while looks nice with the shield, has a lenticular security mark. You'll notice just below the shield 
where it says 999. If you were to have the coin in your hand and slightly twist it, it would then also say AG. The final coin today is also from Comsco, this time the Saisin series. The series is based on the lunar calendar, but instead of using animals, it uses the fabled 12 guardians. The 2020 issue features Rattus. Rattus is the queen of the underground cave at the Chiwu Empire and has the ability to foresee danger. It is here that she is able to foresee that a great war is coming and alerts Chiwu Qingguang. You'll notice the coin shares the same obverse as the previous coin. We reached the end of this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.